Hey guys, Michael from Cocker Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be covering how to identify what type of solid something is. So the four types of solids are ionic, metallic, network covalent, and molecular covalent. We'll go over the, the categories and the criteria for each, and then we'll go over the, the examples where we identify the type of solids each of these substances are. So we'll start with ionic. Ionic solids, they contain metal and non-metal, or they contain a polyatomic ion. And as you probably know, ionic solids are solids that contain positive ions or next to negative ions, cations, and anions in a crystal lattice. Metallic solids, on the other hand, they just contain metals only. And the structure of metals, they, you just have metal atoms that are bonded to each other through a delocalization of electrons uh, through metallic bonds. And then network covalent solids, the you, you just have to remember a couple of the main ones here. There are, there are only a few network covalent solids, but the most common ones that you'll probably see in your chemistry class are diamond, which is a form of carbon, graphite, which is another form of carbon, silicon dioxide, silicon carbide, silicon, or germanium. Those are the main network covalent compounds. And you might not even see these last couple, but you probably definitely will see these first four. And network covalent compounds are just uh, compounds or, or atoms that are bonded to each other through very, very strong covalent bonds. And then lastly, you have molecular covalent. So covalent is broken down to network covalent and molecular covalent. Molecular covalent compounds are, are compounds that just contain nonmetals that aren't network covalent compounds. And they exist as individual molecules bonded through weak intermolecular forces instead of strong covalent bonds. All right, now let's jump into the examples and take a look at what type of solid each of these are. Actually, let's first cover how to determine if an element is a metal or a non-metal because you're gonna need that skill to be able to do the subsequent exact problems. You see the staircase that separate these two colors right here? The one that goes down. To the right of the staircase are non-metals, and you can see the green and the blue are non-metals, and then to the left of the staircase, those are metals. The one, ex one exception is hydrogen. Although hydrogen is to the left of that staircase, it's uh, still a non-metal. So everything to the right of the staircase and hydrogen is a non-metal, and to the left of the staircase is a metal. So now let's go back to the examples. So the first one, diamond. Well, we just talked about that diamond is a network covalent compound. That's one of the main ones. So this one will be network. Next one, pH3. Uh, P is a nonmetal. H is a non, also a nonmetal. So this would be, since we have two nonmetals that not network covalent, this will be molecular covalent. H2. This is just two two nonmetals again. So this is also going to be molecular covalent because it's covalent, but it's not network. Uh, next one, Mg. Mg is just a metal, so that would just be metallic. Next one, KCl. K is a metal and then Cl is a non-metal, so this would just be uh, ionic because it's a metal and non-metal. Next one, silicon dioxide. This is one of, the, one of the main network covalent ones, so this is going to be network covalent. Next one, NH4NO3, ammonium nitrate. Ammonium is a polyatomic ion and nitrate is a polyatomic ion. So we, since we have polyatomic ions, this is going to be ionic. SF2, S is a nonmetal, F is a nonmetal, so two nonmetals that isn't network, so then it must be molecular. SI, SI is a network covalent compound. CU, CU is just a metal, so that would be metallic. And the last one, CH, C6H12O6, all of these are nonmetals and they're not network, so then it, they it must be a molecular compound. And that's how you can easily determine what's ionic, molecular covalent, network covalent, and metallic. So just go through the criteria. If it's just a metal, it's going to be metallic. If it's a metal or non-metal or contains polyatomic ion, then it's ionic. Uh, if it's one of these, then it's going to be network covalent. And if it's a non-metal and not one of those, if it's non-metals only, then it's going to be molecular covalent. And if you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you, and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.